Well, new tonight, North Carolina charter schools, like public schools, are struggling to help students master all the concepts necessary to their grade levels. But some charters are finding more success with black and Hispanic students. In fact, a WCNC Charlotte analysis found many Charlotte area charter schools saw better results than traditional public schools on this front. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison joins us live from a movement charter school. Shay, do we know the reason why this is happening? Well, here at Movement Charter, they are targeted toward a specific demographic, which is those black and Hispanic students and also students who may be economically disadvantaged. And so they say that's why their scores with these students are higher compared to other state traditional public schools. Movement Charter School, like others, was created to fill a gap in student achievements in some Charlotte area zip codes. We are very intentional around our mission to serve black and brown children and to serve communities um, in, urban, um, in urban communities because we understand that the work that we are doing is equity work. Movement school leaders say their educational plan is designed to fit, quote, unique needs of the economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, ethnic minority, and refugee students it serves. Regardless of what they look like, where they live at, their circumstances, they still will perform exceptionally well on all their assessments and standards. The number of black and Hispanic students attending charter schools has increased in North Carolina since 2005, and recently released performance scores may give a glimpse into why. Because our expectation and our goal, not only did it not change, but we actually increased it. We compare three Charlotte area charter schools, Lake Norman Charter, Concord Lake Steam Academy, and Movement Charter Schools to Union, Gaston, and CMS. When it comes to black and Hispanic students being grade level proficient, these charter schools saw better results in the traditional public schools. For example, CMS only saw 36.6% of its Hispanic students considered proficient. That's below both the state average and below the three charter schools we compared. And our goal is to say, listen, doesn't matter what the demographics, what the statistics say, look at what our students can do, because guess what? All of our students in the country can actually do this. The targeted focus on certain demographics in charter schools is why some families have made the switch. Now we wanted to take a larger look looking at the charter schools and the public schools in all of North Carolina. So we look at the top 50 schools who did the best with black and Hispanic students. And of those 50, a large majority were still from public traditional schools. Live at Movement School, Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. Shay, thank you so much.